Mm, Taurus. You have changed so much, Taurus. So much. You know that? Okay. You, you've changed uh, quite a bit, all right? Underlying energy is the Knight of Swords. So we're just going to have some fun today, all right? Because I know what this reading is trying to say. I love y'all. And you know what, guys? I can understand, all right? I understand. Oh, we're going to get into it. Underneath that is the moon, and what's that peeking out? The lovers is right there, y'all. There's a bit of confusion regarding your love life right now, and I feel like y'all just want some things to pick up. Not things like to hurry up and you know, like get things going and everything. You want to have some sort of action, something to fight for. Right now, you're not sure what the hell to fight for, and it's not necessarily because the relationship is confusing, because it possibly can be, but there's nothing happening either. It's just kind of more of like a feel as you go, go as you feel thing. Now, Taurus, you are coming to put the Queen of Pentacles, or you're dealing with somebody else as the Queen of Pentacles. This would never, this would, this typically would not bother me, right? Because it's like you guys are Pentacles, right? You guys are Earth signs, and as always, right? The Pentacles are really good at committing. They're good at working hard at stuff. Well, hopefully, you guys are not like hearing the things shuffle around if it was i'm totally sorry about that um but anyway with the queen of pentacles here definitely showing me that there has been you know you know this person is committed to you right it's, this person is committed to you you're committed to them it's a great loyalty kind of thing here no no, no problem with the commitment part right the, pro the problem is the commitment part in some ways because right? i think it's not necessarily that they're, you know, you're committed to them or they're committed to you. There's nothing about the commitment portion. It's that you're bored, Taurus. And I would, I would have never seen that for you before, right? Because, you know, when it comes to things, right, being, you know, practical and, you know, slow and, you know, easy going and nothing's very serious and fast or, you know, you know, something like snippy and fast, you guys not typically like that kind of the calm, the simple life. You guys are very, Simple, like I have Taurus aspects in my in my chart, and I'm I love simplicity, like things that are simple, not something that's always you know crazy going out of nowhere. I, I find the simplest stuff fun, and it bores the crap out of my friends. It does, it cry, it, it bores them, but I like it. And y'all are getting bored with the simple stuff. Y'all are bored with nothing really going on. The reason why the Ace of Pentacles is coming up is the reason why the eight, why the Ten of Pentacles is coming up is because it was exciting in the past. No, now it's not very exciting. Why isn't that exciting? Well, because there's nobody doing anything, right? I don't think there's a lot of a lot of stuff happening. There's not a lot of passion going on here. There's a lot of serious mofo energy right here. Mofo energy, as I said, crazy serious, right? And it's and I feel like from you guys, you don't want to be serious, really. You don't really want to feel serious right now. You want to actually have a little more fun. That's what the devil is in your desired outcome. The devil's showing up here as your desired outcome saying, like, you see, like, these people here, they're not bound to anything. They're not truly bound, right? They have, may have chains around their necks, right? But it's all for costume. If they wanted to just get up and leave, they can. This is something they enjoy being in. And I'm not saying that nobody, you know, like, the devil, the you know, hell is the place where you want to be. No, that's definitely not what I'm saying. But I am saying, though, that this, the, the devil means taboo. It means sex. It talks about addictions, etc., right? escapism it has a lot of meanings obsessiveness it there's a lot of things that can come out of the devil right but with what the reading is showing me that there is a lack of fun here T pay the, the pentacles energy is not a very fun energy it's real it's in it's physical it's tangible but there's nothing like wands there's nothing like cups that can really spice it up, spice things up right it's just work at the end of the day it's something you're committed to. It's something that you've been working and building very hard. Build, build, not building very hard. Building very diligently. And it's like you have stability now, but where's the fun aspect? Where's the where's the excitement? Well, your best path to follow is showing here the Wheel of Fortune. So this is talking about a new opportunity. But I feel like this is an opportunity in which you have to make for yourself. You have to make that opportunity available to you. you got to try to have more fun. And it could be that this is a very comfortable space and you're kind of comfortable here but at the same time you're bored you want to have you want to have more fun you want to be more you know you want to do something a little bit more exciting than just being 
the everyday Taurus, which is the you know doing what you needed to do, handle your responsibilities, make sure you're holding on the fort. Because sometimes you know, as a fixed sign, I'm not a fixed sign. I'm a Libra, but you know, I can see as a, as a fixed sign, you guys have put on a lot of responsibilities from the very beginning. As a young bit, uh, young kids, you guys understand responsibility very well, right? So you guys take on the responsibility. You guys are very practical early on. There's not really a much, there's not really a lot of space for you guys to truly be free and happy and just and be yourself, right? There's some sometimes for some of you guys there may be, but then a lot of you a lot of times to fix energy you find themselves in a lot of situations where they've committed themselves to a lot of things and they have things set in, in order to kind of make things make sure things are stable, grounded, that things are going in the way they need to. But I feel like. This King of Swords energy is is a result of the of the responsibilities that you got the 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 commitments that you've got going on the commitment in the relationship. I feel like there's been a lot of work to get to this Ten of Pentacles. Obviously, right? It does take a lot of work. The Queen of Pentacles understands how much work is necessary in a situation if she wants to wants to turn out and wants to be prosperous. Well, it's the ending of that cycle now. Although it's great, it goes it's amazing like. The Ten of Pentacles it doesn't really bring much to the table. It's, it's not exciting anymore. It's pretty much, you know, you're building a legacy and that's great and all, but that's not really exciting. And the King of Swords, yes, he knows the truth. He's he's super serious and that's what you guys are. And you guys don't come up as this energy. You guys come up as the King of Pentacles. That's more of the energy that you all rock in. But with this Queen of Swords, the King of Swords rather, and the Queen of Pentacles, it's almost like you're very serious about this connection. We're very serious about it, you know, about how it is because of everything that you've been through. You've been fighting for some time, right? This is a lot of fighting energy. And I know it's just like you kind of don't really, you know, you're not getting any excitement anymore. What you're hoping, is, your hopes and fears are showing is the Knight of Wands. I don't think you guys want to, to kind of stay serious right now. I feel like you guys want to actually enjoy your life, enjoy the connection. Enjoy your partner that you're committed to. Enjoy that connection, Jab. You don't want to break up with them, but you definitely do not want to continue in the cycle of which you guys are going, which is really just all f uh, all work and no play. There needs to be some play. So here in your outcome, you have the Eight of Cups. And that just talks about you know being emotionally done, knowing what you don't want, and going after exactly what it is that you want, following what your heart's desire is, right? listening to your intuition and going with it and it's not a bad card right nobody's leaving the situation nobody's breaking up with each other and i don't see that if i saw that i would have saw the eight of swords or not eight of swords i would saw three swords ten of swords something like that right ten of ten of cups i would have saw that kind of thing but you guys are in a stable relationship it shows this right here up top but the stable relationship is lacking in passion it's lacking in some sort of emotional anything right you're emotionally done here so I feel like right now the situation it does would call for a new opportunity that may have you that you may have to initiate on your own. Be more passionate, be more fun. Listen to what your heart wants, right? If you go with the flow and listen to what your heart wants, the bringing in the passion portion will be so much easier because you'll do what you want to do in that moment. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at your wisdom of the oracle card for this week. All right, and you guys have Thinker, 44. And honestly, 44 is one of those numbers that kind of make, you know, open my eyes up a little bit, makes my eyes widen. And the reason why is because, okay, double numbers are always, I feel are always associated with twin flames. But that may not be for a lot of you, right? Some of you guys may not have a twin flame relationship. Um, but this does, if you guys have been seeing double numbers, please keep in mind that that could be confirming some things that you've been thinking, been feeling, what have you, right? And the confirmation for you can be very different. It's not the same for everybody. So anyway, being all that said though, thinker right here totally means that there, as right now, it's, it's, it is a time to think about what you want. Time to think about what it is that you really want to go after. And you know, it, it's really kind of like a, not don't worry about doing so much just kind of be within yourself 
figure out what it is that you're looking for in your relationship we can bring the spice back right but thinker is a time of kind of it's very similar to observing but you're really just kind of contemplating your situation taking some time out to really assess what's over, what's going on around you because y'all want more fun you guys want to have something going on and right now it's all like i said it's all work no play whoa slow down when you are excited you get ahead of yourself take some time to allow things to unfold now the knight of swords does indicate they're sitting there in your um in your underlying energy so it could be that you guys are bored and you guys want things to kind of hurry up and move on that may not be the best thing right now taurus especially if you're not if you're not necessarily sure what kind of fun you want what you are exactly looking for the thinker's coming up because it's like, hey, there's a missing piece here. And I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is also talking about maybe not just making an opportunity for yourself, but also really talking about a less wait, allowing time to kind of pass. You know what I mean? Allowing time to pass because the Wheel of Fortune does talk about another opportunity and new uh, second time around, right? And I feel like there could be something coming in, something new. But it will probably require a bit of patience, a bit of time for it to come in. And as much as you guys are sitting there, you know, twiddling your thumbs, and I know, I understand that as an air sign, I understand twiddling your thumbs is not fun. It actually will benefit probably because you'll at least understand something about yourself through this process. You know, super serious energies and you want to have more fun and enjoy your connection it will come though i feel like it will come just be patient and allow the opportunity to truly present itself naturally to some of you guys all right some of you guys you may need to just actually just go ahead and take you know go out there and do it you know have a good time with your partner find some, some find something that you both want to do or find something that you want to do right that's true to you and you have fun with that but it's not going to probably happen overnight and one of the things here is too is that like I said before, for some of you guys, you may just have to wait for it to come, you know, allow the opportunity to have fun again, come naturally, right? When it, when it presents itself. Maybe both of you guys are like super busy and career oriented right now. Maybe you guys are trying to focus on building a legacy or make it, you know, trying to make something stable. Maybe there isn't a lot of stability right now, but you're working so hard to try and make that happen. And, but you've kind of, you're depleted, you're drained, you're not having a good time. You know, you 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 have a, a destination, but the drive ain't there. So so maybe right now it's just allowing you know you know figuring out what you guys need to do to actually have more fun. Not necessarily commit it or plan it, but maybe just have some fun. 